Hey guys, welcome back to another heavy metal diecast video and another one of our 170 second scale armored reviews. And today we have, for your viewing pleasure, of course, a Sturmgeschutz 4. So, of course, this is a German assault tank or tank destroyer uh, used during World War II. And uh, this was a, uh, based on the uh, Panzer IV chassis, and they were produced uh, late 1943 until 1945. With around 1,141 tanks uh, produced in all uh, variants, of course. Uh, it is a casemate style similar to the Stug 3 or the Sturmgeschutz 3. It actually uses the uh, Sturmgeschutz 3's superstructure, just modified to fit on the uh, chassis of the Panzer 4, of course. And it does mount that uh, nice 75mm main gun. And these are one of those uh, D'Agostini range ones. It does come on these normal base with that weird ass screw on there so you need that special head to get it off we'll get the uh case open it comes with a beautiful perspex case that does keep that dust off it but it does stop us from checking this out so uh let's have a real good look at this little Sturmgeschutz 4 and it does look really nice it is in the uh late war camouflage scheme sort of like a you know ambushed style scheme they have the multi-colors on there and it does come up fantastic it does look really well done it does have the side skirts on there as well and they seem to be uh put on nicely although they do taper in a little bit um into the vehicle itself i think normally they're a little bit straighter but that's you know neither here nor there as i said these are the cheaper brands and this does look really nice for for what it is of course does that 75 millimeter move up and down? Jeez, it doesn't seem to. Um, it wobbles a bit, but mine does not um, move up and down. Hey, feel free to let me know in the comments below, of course, if you do have this and uh, if your uh, main gun moves up and down, because mine is seems to be in a fixed position and it is looking upwards, which is a uh, strange direction for a uh, tank destroyer of this type to be uh, pointing its main gun in that direction. And I do not want to force the issue with this um, uh, by breaking it on camera either. So <laughs> uh, it does have this Sauerkopf mount, of course, on there. A lot of you will know what that is. And it does have like some stowage details. It does have the bright red fire extinguisher on there. I, I am, I don't know. That is a little bit weird with these uh, D'Agostini ones. They do have that bright red extinguisher on a lot of their models. I don't know how accurate... I don't think the Germans did, like, put bright red fire extinguishers on their armoured vehicles because it does nullify this fantastic um, paint scheme, like the camouflage. You, you, don't, you don't really want to stand out with a little bright red fire extinguisher sticking on the side of the tank when you're hiding in a bush. But that does have some beautiful machine gun details there. That is nice. The usual sort of track details as well. Seems pretty well uh, put on. They are most likely a little bit flexible. It's hard to get in this one because of the, uh, the side skirt here. I can't really get a fat finger in there to, to sort of see if there's any flex. But no doubt it would be the same as the uh, normal tracks on these D'Augustini ones. They do have a little bit of a flex on them. Uh, they are the sort of the plastic track. You can sort of see it move there. Similar to what you'd get on a 172nd scale um, model. But I reckon it is another pretty cool little unit, of course. Uh, and I like the shape of these little uh, assault tanks as well. I reckon they are pretty cool. The uh, Stug 3 and the Stug 4... They are a nice looking little vehicle, of course. We'll put her on the deck and we'll start winding up this video, of course. Once again, this is by D'Agostini. It's from their Combat Tank magazine type range. I bought it without a magazine. And it is a Sturmgeschutz 4. And I reckon it is a very nice looking unit, of course. And it won't break the bank. So if uh, you enjoy what you saw today, throw us one of those down below somewhere there. And of course, if you feel like uh, subscribing to the channel, don't forget to do that, and uh, that'll keep you up to date with uh, future videos that we do put out, including our armor, aircraft, and other videos that we do put out. All right, guys, once again, thank you very much for spending your valuable time checking out another video. I hope you enjoyed the Sturmgeschutz for today. All right, you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers.